Ik moet er niet aan denken dat ik gevlucht was uit Somalië... waar al 25 jaar een burgeroorlog woedt. En dat mijn vader vermoord werd... omdat hij weigerde mij uit te huwelijken aan een veel oudere man... toen ik 16 jaar oud was. En eenmaal gevlucht naar Nederland... dat ik geen asiel kon krijgen... omdat ik geen paspoort heb, zoals zoveel Somaliërs. Dat had ook mij kunnen overkomen. I ran away from my country because I was afraid that I would be killed. So one day the head of Al Shabaab came to my father and said uh, he wants me to get married to him actually. He was a 50 something years old man. So my father said that, that I'm still too young to get married. At the time I was 16. And what happened was they sent him two young boys to kill him. And then we lost him. And then they come and take me by force. Then they bring me into this cell, a small cell that they made in one of the houses that they were living. And there were also three girls who were already there. They beat us every day and refused food for us and basically torturing us and telling us that our parents were bad people. And then there was a fight. They lost the power in the area and they retreated back. So the family of these girls and my uncle and my mom, they decided that we should leave the country. And finally I came in the Netherlands in Skipol and they asked me, where is my documents? In my country for the past 24 years, we had no system, no government, no documents. There is no so much passport. They processed me within a week and within a week, I get negative. If I go back, then I will lose my life. It's, it's the same as actually suicide, being suicide, killing myself. It was easy for my father just to say, hey, take, and it will have saved a lot of pain in our family. But he did not do that. He stand up what was right, and in the process, they kill him because of this. I also have to stand up for what's right. Otherwise his death will be nothing. If we want to have peace in this world, then it should start from you and me. It doesn't start from government and organizations and police and all that. It starts from you and me. So please, let's welcome refugees. Welcome refugees! I did not choose to be born in a war country. I did not choose this life. It's the life that I'm being subjected upon. It's not my life. And I want my life. 